And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Well, time to work on a little bit of magic here. I want to see. My inventory is full, of course. So let's walk over to the edge. I hold over Q. Anything else I can just drop off the face of the earth? Not really. I can drop that. I don't need it. Okay. So with this, I would like... So I want these four to be basics. So this is where the basics will come up. And this is where I want these to go. This one goes up. And this one goes up. And this one goes in. This one will go in. That way this can get rotated around and it will put them all there. As for this one, a little trickier. And these will all go that way. So this one I want to, this will, I'll put one on top here, which will move them over. I want to go up. Uh, let's see, the best way to do this is actually go up here. And that way I can put a turntable on the top and that can go in there. Oh, let's not fall off the edge. Turn my jetpack off. And this can swoop around to this side. So all four are gonna be placed. Yes, they're not hooked up yet. So the rest of them, one, two, three, four, five. I have five left. And let's see what I can do here with these. Okay, so we have five left. So if I it's gonna need, it's gonna require two turntables. If I turntable there, and there, and here. So that can go in. That can go in. There we go. So those two are the, the really expensive armor piercing. These are all the basics, and those are the imbued. I just need to bring it up, in and in, just like that. Actually, did I look at that wrong? I must have. That will have to go this way. It'll bring it up, it'll split them here, and this will further split them. And once they fill up, it's 
I mean, it's kind of trivial after that. That it'll, it'll keep them stocked. Um, using logistics hoppers helps with that because they can't actually store that much. So they're not constantly being filled. Once they get two, then the system backs itself up, which is, which is nice. All right. Yeah, our threat really hadn't... Oh, Jesus. I forgot to turn my... <laughs> I forgot to turn my jetpack back on. <laughs> Oops. Where's my dead body? There it is. Sorry. So sorry. So, so far so good. No, no attacks out of this side yet. So it looks like that worked. Uh, we did lose the last attack. I did uh, break the OET and we're still showing as OET charging. If you look at the threat scanner, it says Calmer's offline due to orbital energy transmitter charging. Well, we're not charging it. So that's a problem. It's like once you've started charging it once, it never resets that flag. Which is unfortunate because now we can't go back. So I've got another battery here with the solar. This is sort of the same setup I had on the, on the other left side, the one I just took off. So now, during the daylight at least, um, is this going up or down? Come on, change. It's going down. So that means the sun is almost up. Most likely lose this attack. Just the sheer number of bosses that came last time where it was, since I'm not launching missiles, there's really no, there was really no hope. That number of bosses. At this point, they have 600,000 health. So you can imagine at 3,600 damage each, 600 some thousand health, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of energy at 400 a shot. So yeah, I, I lost, the point at which I lost is when all of my batteries were drained. That's how many bosses were there were hundreds of bosses so to kick off this episode while we wait for imbued you know the imbued missiles to catch back up we're already at about here with storage if i go up there so one two three four it's kind of hard to tell it gets going so fast that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about a thousand. We got about a thousand missiles, imbued missiles stored up. Uh, I think I picked up some more stingers. Just one. I want to start the process of the quarry. This thing, I've got all their ingredients. I've had them in my inventory for a while. I'm, I've been meaning to do this for a while. So build a quarry and get rid of the sugar light crystals that I have in me, on me. Another train. Perfect timing. All right. The query system that I have set up is right over here. I really hate trains. Uh, 
I was hoping to use the conduit, the T4 conduit, for this, but it doesn't look like I can build it right now. So I gotta ask I gotta ask DJ about that. Ask the developer. So there's one of them. The next one comes out over here. And you can see the setup I have. for the query goes right here. So let's plop that down. Then I'm gonna have a hopper here, here and here. Okay. Uh, it wants, they want chevrons. And I actually have a bunch of those on me. It'll place them around. There we go. So that is the, the area that the query is going to mine. Now how fast it mines is another matter entirely because this thing, depending on how much power you put into it, mines pretty, pretty damn fast. The one thing that we're gonna need is, where are they? We're gonna need three motorized conveyors. And I need a bunch of stuff for that. And there's gonna be a motorized conveyor coming up this one going to be one coming off this one and there's going to be one coming off of this one so i'm going to have three pipes coming out that are going to be the materials that the quarry is pulling out and the reason why they're motorized is the quarry can actually mine 300 blocks per minute which happens to be the throughput of three lanes of transport pipe so we're not doing not too bad there. And I forgot about the PCB setup. Okay. So Fortified PCBs, I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of those. Fortified PCBs. I might need lightweights. Okay, so conveyor turntable, let's do three. One, two. Yeah, fortified PCBs. Didn't I just pick up a bunch of those? I did, but I, I thought I had way more than that. And fortified, I'm pretty sure fortified PCBs. Uh, let's see, my cheat sheet out here. Nickel. So where's my PCB assembler? There it is. Nickel. Okay, what else? We're gonna need quite a few of these. We are gonna need a ton of transport pipe. We are gonna need a bunch of turntables. And store choppers are fine for now. Conveyor belts are fine. 
We can make most of that stuff elsewhere. Transport pipe filter. That is something that I think I'm going to be needing. So let's make a few of these. This is why I was storing up so much of the tier three or tier two ingots. Okay. Don't need much else. What we are going to need is a bunch of macerators. So let's do this. And let's see, I'm going to need, that will be three times four times two. I'm going to need 24 of these. I'll just make the 25 and call it good. Oh, I'm out of inventory space. Of course, let's move that in there. Fortified, I don't need. Copper plate, I don't need right now. And let's see, stamper I definitely don't need. We've got a whole bunch of turrets waiting around to be used. Okay. Now that that's now that it's daytime, I should put a Oh yeah, I forgot. Should have access to the sun. Yes, it does. Getting some power. Something to do while our fortified PCBs are getting made. 27 of them, not too bad. So let's look at, there we go, motorized conveyor. Oh, I use this 10 at a time, that's why. That would be why it uses so many. Okay, we have macerators to make. And that would be under mining, I think. So I think I need 24 of these. Just to be sure, I'm going to have 24 of them. The mining process is quite intense. There's a whole lot of power going on right here. Yeah, you can see these basically died. This one's charging up, but not too much. Just because this can't actually transmit that much. And then this is out for some reason. Ah, because I'm powering these up here. See, everything just sort of cascades. Once those enemies kind of breach the 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 perimeter of that these turrets mark, it's very difficult to keep keep the defenses up. So that's where the missiles come in handy, right there. All right. Get back over to the quarry. And I'll kick off the next episode 
with the process of getting the query up and running, which is no easy, easy task. This is a, an intense amount of mining that goes on here. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.